Have you ever wished that Jira had a little bit more color? Well, my good friends over at Techno4 have two awesome apps that we're gonna be taking a look today, and I guarantee you they're gonna splash a little color into your life. If you haven't already, please consider subscribing to the channel, drop a like if you get value out of the video, and don't forget to check out the links down below so that you can start your free 30-day trial, not to just one app, but two apps by Techno4. Let's take a look in Jira. The first app that we're going to be taking a look at is going to be the Kanban Combined Whip for Jira. Now, what this app does is that allows you to customize your Kanban boards a little bit more. We're going to be able to combine columns and we're going to be able to combine our whips and we're also going to be able to add a couple of different colors and flair to your boards. So check this out. So this is a typical Kanban board. Out of the box, you have your backlog selected for development and progress and done. But what if you wanted to categorize your columns? What if you wanted to combine a couple of them? Maybe you just want to categorize all of the work that your developers are doing into one column. And then maybe you have your QA columns that you want to categorize into a different column. So rather than having seven, eight columns, you could still have those seven, eight columns, but then you can group them together and have a little bit more customization. Well, let me show you how easy it is with this very, very simple example. Now, once you install Kanban combined with Fragera, they have instructions links down below. You are going to need to install a couple of browser extensions in order to get the full effect. But once you have all that straightened out, we're simply going to go into our board and we're going to go to configure board from here. We're going to go to columns and then we're going to identify the columns that we want grouped together in the title of that column. We're simply going to type in dev colon colon. And over here, we're going to type in dev colon colon. Once we do that, Jira now knows and the plugin specifically that these two columns belong together. So what we're going to do next is the min and the max, for these two specific columns now become a combined min and max. So before three would be the max items that I could have in this selected for development column and five would be the ones for this in progress one. Now together as my dev columns, I can have eight. And again, in the past, this is impossible, but now let's just say that I bumped this up to six. We'll have a limit of nine. And when I hit back to board, because I put in that title of dev colon colon, you'll notice that I now have an extra layer up at the top. I have dev with a total of six items because that's how many are in this first board here. And then I have my min of two because each one has a min, but my max is now nine. So I now have the reflection, the appropriate reflection of the combined minimum and maximum of these two columns. And you can just keep adding and making different groupings of your columns. Now a couple of other things that you get with this plugin. You get this little button that is added to your UI. You can click on that and we can combine our whip, which is basically going to show us the board as one, as opposed to, as you saw right now, it's separated into two and it just becomes the top column. Now, the other cool thing that I really, really like is that we can add card colors. Now this is dependent on the swim lane. And so if you come over to your board settings over here and we go to swim lanes, Depending on the swim lane type you pick, specifically for queries, this works really well. You will now have the swim lane whip limits where you can set the swim lane limits. Now this is cool because we're used to having column whip limits, but never swim lane. And so now you have the ability to create your custom swim lanes based on your queries and also put whip limits on those as well. So I'm gonna hit save here, go back to my board. So once I set my swim lane limits, you're gonna notice that at the swim lane level here, I have my max of five because that's what I put for my expedite. And then I have my max of 10 for everything else because that's what I put for that swim lane. So that's really, really cool. Another cool thing that you can do is that over on your uh, configure board settings again, we're gonna come over to our card colors. Now these card colors you probably know already and if you've seen any of my previous videos, you know that I'm not a big fan because they give you just a sliver of a piece. They just give you a tiny, tiny little color that is really not too valuable because it's just so small that you can miss it if you're not looking. But with this plugin, no extra steps required. All you gotta do is click on this card color button here and now rather than just seeing that tiny little sliver, the entire card is covered by that color. Now, I don't know about you, but this is one of my favorite features because Jira is just so bland. It's blue and that's all you get. You just get a blue. But with this plugin here, now you're adding a little bit more color to your Jira. And that's not all. A couple of other things that we get 
and we're just going to stick with this Kanban Whip menu item here, we can make our columns wider. So if you've ever wished that you're, you know, the cards are kind of small and you're having to scroll, well, you can make them wider so that you can really read everything, right? Now you're going to have to scroll a little bit more, but the card detail is there. So if you have a smaller screen or if you've ever wished that you could see it a little bit better, you can modify the columns there. You can also collapse them. You can also have the ability to close some of these out if you wanted to basically hide them. And again, this gives you a little bit of value, a little bit of freedom to have some customizations over your boards. Now, the last thing that I want to show you, and this is probably a really cool, interesting feature, is that you can also add a personal image. Now, very similar to how Trello works, again, Jira is a little bland. We, we just have white and blue. Well, if you click on the select personal image, you can basically put in a background URL or you can pick from the many backgrounds that they have. Pick one here and then I'm going to click save and notice that my entire board is now this serene background. And so again, if you want to add a little splash of color to your Jira life, this is one cool thing that you can do. Now, the last thing that I want to show you is a different app that is also made by Techno4 and that one's called New Status Colors Pro. And what I really, really like about this one is again, it's that splash of color. We're used to just having gray, blue, and green for our statuses because those are the status categories. But have you ever wanted to maybe make your block status red, right? Maybe you have different colors that coordinate with your metrics. And so if you wanted to change that information up, this plugin, which again also requires you to install a quick little uh, Chrome extension, is really, really cool. So let me show you how this one works. So to get it started, after you install it, you're going to go to your gear, you're going to go to issues, and then you're going to come down here to statuses. Now I'm going to look for my block status. I think I have one. Here it is. And all I'm going to do is click on edit over here. And in the description, I'm going to put in parentheses red. Now all you got to do is put the color that you want and then hit update. Once you do that, then you got to go to your project and just make sure that in your project, you have the status of blocked. So I'm going to go over to this project that I have over here and I'm going to go to my project settings and I'm going to go over to my workflow just to make sure that I have this status. So in my workflows, I'm going to add the status of blocked. I'm just going to add it to this one here, which is there. As you can see, I have now a red status instead of the traditional blue, it is now red. And once you have this, then I can go back into my project. And in my backlog view, again, instead of seeing things very, very bland, very just, you know, unoriginal, now I can change my statuses to, to blocked. And when I do that, they're going to be turning red. So just give it a second here. It does take a second for it to take effect. But watch this. Once I open it up, you'll notice that my status over here is red. And then inside of Jira, going back over here, the red starts taking effect. There it is. As you can see here, now all of my statuses that I want red are red. Obviously, you're in progress. You probably don't want red, but you can see the value that you get from making your block status red because it's it's attracting your attention. It's tracking your eyes and teams are going to know, ooh, fire, red, emergency, not good, right? And it's going to help guide that attention and help surface some of the critical issues. So you can use, you know, more serene colors for when things are going well. And then for your statuses that require a little bit more hands-on involvement from your team, you can make them these brighter, bolder colors so that you can, you know, address the issues as needed and you don't have to go searching for things. Let me show you a really cool added feature that you also get with these colored statuses. So in addition to the color statuses that we've talked about already, you also get this new tab here called transitions. And once you allow the app to talk to your Jira, when you click into it, you're going to be able to see the history of your transition. So check this out. When I move this item from to do to in progress, you're going to see that it's going to tell me a couple of things. One, give me the paper trail. And two, most importantly, it's going to give me the time and status. It's going to tell me how many days this particular issue has been in the status. Obviously, 439 days is a long time. But if you look at another example, I have another story over here you'll see that this item has been in these particular statuses in a more, you know, expected time, a couple of minutes or maybe a few hours. And so this is really, really cool. I think this is a really awesome feature that gives you a lot of insight and information into understanding how long these issues 
remain in the particular statuses. So on top of the colors, you also get this, which I really, really like. And now let's talk about explicit policies. If I click on my Kanban whip over here and I enable explicit policies, you'll notice that I get this little check mark. And what this check mark does is it gives you a rich text box so that you can essentially create a policy. And what this basically means is you can provide information to your users so that they are aware of the rules that govern this particular column or status. So let me show you what that looks like over here. If I click on this check mark for peer review, I can add an explicit policy. And I'm just going to say needs to have PR opened in Git, right? And this is just a rule, right? So now the team can come in and look and say, oh, before I move it to a peer review, or maybe you're having a hard time moving something into peer review and you don't know why because there's restrictions in the workflow. Well, as an admin, you can come in and add a little bit of context so that your team can go, oh, I can't move it to in progress because only so-and-so can move them into in progress, or I can't do this because I'm missing this other item, right? And so instead of just keeping it secret from your team, you're able to give them that additional information so that they can understand why the restrictions in the Kanban board exist. So I think this is a really, really cool plugin to also get installed, especially again, if you're just not happy with the blandness of Jira, right? And so this is gonna be a cool way to highlight and escalate issues and add a little bit more color. So that's pretty much it for this video. I hope you enjoyed it. I really do like these added functionalities just because again, I've been using Jira for seven years. It's white and it's blue and that's it. You don't get a whole lot of color. You don't get a whole lot of personalization. And I really like what my friends here did at Techno4, right? Being able to add a little bit more color, a little bit more splash, sometimes not a whole lot of value added, but to the person that is using Jira, right? Being able to guide your attention, being able to see things with a little bit more color, being able to, you know, help visually direct your cues as to what's important, what's not important. And, and, and even just combining those statuses, right? I think that's a pretty cool feature as well, because we work in like little containers, right? We work at all the dev work, all the QA work, all the design work, right? But sometimes one status is not enough to say what it is, right? But if you have like a ready for QA and QA and QA complete statuses, well, now you can group those to just be your QA statuses, right? Because you're now communicating that expectation to the rest of the team. Because for some people it might be obvious, for others it might not, and it never helps to over communicate. If you enjoyed this video, make sure you click on the description down below to start your free 30 day trials to these apps. And also if you made it this far and you haven't hit that like button, now's your opportunity to hit that like button. And finally, if you haven't subscribed to the channel yet, now's an opportunity for you to subscribe to the channel. Thank you very much and I'll see you in the next one.